Welcome to the Intro Zone, a Roadmap Pit Stop, April 2025 edition. This is a bonus monthly show that answers that burning question in your mind. What's rolling out now for SharePoint and related technology in Microsoft 365? I'm Mark Cashman, Senior Product Manager at Microsoft, here to help set the ongoing record straight. We're going to focus on everything that landed this month, a few related items, and the always fun teasers looking into next month. And as part of the related items, I'm going to spend a little time reviewing the recent Copilot news for end users, IT, and early adopters. There's a lot of AI goodness that was announced in April on April 23rd, 2025 to be specific. And I'm just going to boil it down a little bit and highlight some of the main elements. In all, this is your 30-minute pit stop to stay ahead of the ever-curving Microsoft 365 roadmap. It is now time to kick back and get informed about all the tech that rolled out or was announced in April 2025. We're going to start with employee engagement like we always do so you know the tools and the features and the updates that are there to help you when you're ready to communicate broadly, or at least have your information do the work for you. We're gonna start with our first item in Microsoft Viva Connections. There is now a card in SharePoint Agents. So if you're building Viva Connections cards, those are now available to be showcased in SharePoint Agents. That is bringing agents to conversations specifically to Microsoft Viva Connections. When a card is relevant for a topic, it'll surface into the conversation chat, allowing users to interact with it directly from SharePoint agents without interrupting their flow. This will ensure relevant information is readily accessible within the context of their conversation, improving productivity and hopefully nailing that great user experience. There's a lot more information about how SharePoint agents and Microsoft Viva Connections cards are coming together. And I think it's a really great thing to plan for to roll out into your broader communicative type environments and portals like Viva Connections and liven them up with SharePoint agents. Next up, the SharePoint e-signature coming to Microsoft Word. Currently, SharePoint e-signature includes the capability to request e-signatures from a PDF using Microsoft's native e-signature service. With this update, users will also be able to create e-signature requests from within Microsoft Word documents without the need to create a PDF. So when requesting signatures or e-signatures from within Word, signers will sign a PDF copy of the Word document. To break that down a little bit so it makes a little bit more sense about how it works, The PDF is automatically created and a link is shared with the signers. Signers do not access the source Word document during the signing process. Signer information such as email address is not stored in the Word document. When signing is complete, the signed PDF will be saved in the same location as the Word document. The PDF document never leaves your Microsoft 365 trust boundary during the whole signing process. Now, With this particular feature, the rollout might take several weeks for some regions by nature of how we roll out some of the broader Office updates, this being within Office, Microsoft Word. And there's a place and location I'll put in the blog post where you can check the regional availability for this particular feature. With that, we're going to sign out of Microsoft Word with our e-signature in the past and move on to teamwork, where our first item is to help you keep on task. The first item is using SharePoint Quick Steps to automate common tasks and workflows. In the Automate menu, which if you've been using lists or libraries for a while now, you will know the Automate menu has a lot of what it sounds like to help you automate a lot of your processes, especially the simple ones, workflows and signature, capture, review and approval, those kinds of things you will now be able to create customized quick steps for common tasks such as composing an email or starting a Microsoft Teams chat to specified people columns. So if you've got that information in your list or library, you can leverage that within your quick step. You can send approval requests, you can execute a flow and set certain columns to certain values on one or more items. You'll be able to find that there's a simple sentence builder experience similar to SharePoint rules when you go to build a new quick step. So after this rollout, 
you'll be able to add and configure your own quick steps within any list or library for a variety of common scenarios. Just go again to the automate menu from any list or library and start configuring your own custom quick steps. There's a great guide for creating a quick step for your list or library. I'll have a link to that in the uh, related blog so you can learn how to do it and then get doing it. Create your quick steps and maybe even do it quickly because they're pretty simple to create. The next item is a SharePoint item. There's a new document library template called Resume Repository, as what it sounds like for resume organizing and hiring of potential future employees. So you'll find this resume repository library template if you're a tenant with the pay as you go billing services that's been enabled. Once you have it, you'll see autofill columns that automatically extract name, email, phone, college, and degree, all those common important aspects of a resume. And additionally, there are some pre-configured choices and people-based columns to help streamline hiring and interview coordination that are centered around once these resumes have been submitted. The new template will be available to SharePoint users so that you can create and use it in your own sites. So get hiring, not tiring of the rigor of getting organized as the multitudes of potential hires send in their resumes and you manage it from potential hire to potential onboarding of that new hire. A lot of great details around how to use the autofill columns and, of course, the work that the template does for you to enable this and to pre-configure it so that you can get started much more quickly in having your own resume repository. That'll take us to moving into the related items. The first one up is from the OneDrive team. You can now, within OneDrive, ask Copilot questions on meeting recordings, where a lot of the meeting recordings are stored is OneDrive. So never miss key points from your meetings again, because you can query them. Copilot transforms your meeting recordings into actionable insights, making follow-ups a breeze. You can use Q&A, question and answer, for meeting recordings to get immediate answers without the need to watch the full thing or skim around to that part that's hard to find. In short, you'll be able to do things like recap meetings where you can quickly review key points and discussions from those meetings, generate meeting notes so that you can automatically create detailed notes or a summary of the meeting, and you can highlight any at mentions. Wherever somebody was mentioned, it's easy to identify those spots and review all mentions of specific individuals during the particular meeting. You can see this in action within the blog. I'll have a link that goes out to a nice short demo video. And of course, if you've been leveraging and using OneDrive, hop in, find a recording. If you have a Copilot license, you will be able to take advantage of asking Copilot questions on meeting recordings within your OneDrive. Now, since we've been talking about Copilot as a little bit of a, of a, of a tease of one of those OneDrive features this month, That'll move us into talking about a pretty broad category of related news. This is all of the recent Copilot news. This was again April 23rd. There was a big moment of innovation exposure around what it is that's either here or coming very soon to Copilot. And uh, even though we are now April having come and went, but in res retrospect, I want to re say hello to the Microsoft 365 Copilot. Wave 2 Spring Release, which effectively is an updated Microsoft 365 Copilot app that's designed to power the next era of human agent collaboration. Copilot is now your window into the world of agents. If you haven't heard, there are a lot of agents with these new capabilities, they lay the foundation for this next phase, driven by more advanced models, adaptive memory, and reasoning agents that work alongside you. Before I go on any further, there is a really nice uh, short form demo from John Friedman, who's one of our lead designers in this space, and that'll be embedded in the blog. It's also out on YouTube, so you can see all the updates to the Microsoft 365 Copilot app experience. I want to get down to some brass taxes here for you and share five main elements of this Copilot news cycle. There's an AI powered search to help you find information faster at work. You can now create 
and have a new create experience built for business that unlocks design skills for everyone. We also announced Copilot notebooks that'll turn your content and data into instant insights and actions. The more you track and manage in the notebooks, the more specific grounded detail Copilot has to help you within Copilot notebooks. There's a new agent store so you can easily find and access agents right in the flow of work. And for IT, there's the new Copilot control system where admins and security professionals can start solving the challenges of cost management, security and governance, and lifecycle management so that you can effectively secure, measure, and manage the use of Microsoft 365 Copilot, the agents that come along with that so that they and you can maximize your impact as you work with Copilot doing your work. There's a nice full blog with a lot of details, links out to some of the deeper information, and a couple of short videos that show some of the elements that I just walked through. One of them that was uh, tangential in the sense of news and relatively new is an early adopter program called the Microsoft 365 Copilot Frontier Program. This is to begin rolling out in phases in May, but the news came out that Frontier is a new managed program that offers you the ability to get hands-on with the latest model innovation and provide feedback before experiences are made generally available. Effectively, this is a way to preview some of the new co-pilot features and the new agents. The first frontier experiences are researcher and analyst. We talked about them last month within the IntraZone Roadmap Pit Stop March edition, and they're now available in the app or agent store. Both agents will be labeled with the ending in frontier. So if it says frontier, know that it's in preview and we want you to start playing with it if you opt into the Microsoft 365 Copilot Frontier program. All Microsoft 365 Copilot licensed users will be able to discover the agents by opening their Microsoft 365 Copilot chat experience on the web, clicking all agents and navigating to quote, built by Microsoft. These are the agents or productivity categories of the store. There are no limits on usage of researcher or analyst for end users. Of course, this is subject to change as we move from preview into general availability. As these features are still in development, they will only be made available in English within the Frontier program. There's a great Learn More article, how to get involved with the Frontier program, learn more about it, and then hopefully start taking advantage of it as an early adopter of some of these Copilot experiences. Now, to round out the Copilot goodness and the awareness campaign in April 2025 here on the Interzone, let's talk about AI and agents and how they can reason over and solve problems in remarkable ways with a view into the ability to now scale the capacity like never before. We have a research team that has compiled the new 2025 Work Trend Index, or WTI, if you like your acronyms, so that you can now get the latest research and insights on the emergence of the Frontier Firm. That's a new technology term that we're really focused on around those that are adopting AI and putting it to good use and taking full advantage of saving people time and, of course, working together with co-pilot agents and collaborating across your, your teams. So Microsoft analyzed survey data from about 31,000 workers across 31 countries, LinkedIn labor market trends, and trillions of Microsoft 365 productivity signals. The WTI report also spoke with AI native startups, academics, economists, scientists, and thought leaders to explore what work could become. The data and insight points to the emergence of an entirely new organization, the Frontier Firm that I described earlier, looks markedly different from those that we know today. And of course, it's evolving. This WTI report helps keep you informed and ready to assist your operating with agility and generating value faster, aka learn about what others are doing, how you can take advantage of this technology, and move yourself to become the next Frontier Firm. All right, that is a lot of co-pilot news because there was a significant moment that was, again, April 23rd, 2025. There's a lot of great blogs and videos that surround the entire event so that you can learn more, dig into it, see what other people are saying about it. And of course, let us know what you think, especially during the early phases in the Frontier program and as it rolls out into production. We'd love to know what you think and the things that you'd like for us to think about and focus on in the future.
Now, getting into the future, which we were already talking about a little bit, let's talk about some of the May 2025 teasers. We're going to move into the near future next month and predict with high certainty some of the items, two of them specifically, that are going to land in May 2025. So, teaser number one. Share a SharePoint site's built-in agents. This allows you to take the built-in SharePoint agent on a site and share it and use it in Teams. Up until this point, it's been a little bit locked, the default one. If you had created a custom SharePoint agent, that one has already been easy to share and use in Teams. The default one, we're unlocking a little bit so you can add that collaborative notion. We'll share more next month about that particular feature. Teaser number two. So similar to what you can do with Copilot in OneDrive, you'll be able to do that with your files in document libraries. Again, stored in SharePoint, but you may have this user experience within Teams. That is it with this month's peek ahead. We're going to share more details and other updates within the SharePoint Roadmap Pit Stop May 2025 edition. And that's going to be next month. We've added learn more links per feature, plus a list of important resources in the show notes and in the corresponding blog post on the Microsoft Tech Community, published to, you guessed it, the SharePoint Community blog. I hope you've enjoyed this roadmap pit stop. It's time to pump the brakes, relax, and know that you are all caught up. If anything still leaves you scratching your head with open questions or concerns, please send us your thoughts and comments to theintrazone at microsoft.com. We are here to put our and your best change management foot forward, and we thank you for taking that step with us into the cloud month after month. This is Mark Cashman saying, get your library resume template ready on the roadmap ahead.